was a good day. Today was a good day. Should it up? I'm in my mate. Put it up. I'm in champagne. Well, go on. What films do people say is bad, but they were actually not that bad? Today we're gonna start with Green Lantern. Everyone has deemed it a failure. Ratings are low. Ratings are low. Even Ryan Reynolds himself, he don't like the film. If you watch the first Deadpool, you see that he went back in time just so that he could, you get me, kill off himself just because he accepted the role. That's how bad people think it is. But I just had a rewatch of it the other day, and you know what? It weren't that bad. Let's look at the positives, yeah? Because the only thing that people seem to talk about is the negatives. Oh, it wasn't good. Or oh, the character design wasn't great. Or oh, the storyline was bad. It was enjoyable for me anyway. I seen it as Green Lantern getting his film and showing out what he could do. You understand? I, I grew up on Justice League. You know, the original Justice League with Green Lantern, the black dude. Still waiting on that. Green Lantern power is just so sick, isn't it? You can think of anything and it will come true as long as your mind is right. It's, it's like cold power. Seeing it on the screen was pretty incredible. Although people say it wasn't done well, I quite like the way he done things. And you know that part where he had to save the helicopter from crashing and he made a racetrack and he put wheels on the, on the helicopter and he made it right. See, when I was young, oh, that was, that was cold. I was thinking, rah, that's such a sick idea. You know, these little things, they, they grew on me, you know, and they stuck with me from when I got older. So I thought, for me, enjoyable film. Also, I did like the costume. Green Lantern really looked the part. I thought it was enjoyable. I can understand why people don't like it, but I don't understand why people hate on it so bad. Could it have been a better film? Yeah. Every film can be better, really and truly, but it was a good film. It weren't as bad as people were saying it was. But we're not stopping there. You know what else I rewatched recently? I got bad reviews, yeah? Fantastic Four. The first one. No, I'm not talking about the 2015 version. That was quite bad. That was quite bad. I'll talk about the first one. You know what? It was all right. It was all right. The characters were good. Johnny Storm was funny. I mean, that was original Captain America before he became Captain America. And it was, it just made sense. He was so good as Chris Evans anyway. He was so good as Johnny Storm. I thought all the characters worked well together. The actors are really good. They really suited the role and I thought they worked very, very well together as a four. And then the introduction of Doctor Doom was all right as well. The only downside is the CGI was probably a bit, mm, but what can you expect? It was in the early 2000s. I'm not going to get the same level as what we get today, but it was good for the time. And I even watched it like last week and it was good. It looked fine. It was a good film. It was enjoyable. You can have a little laugh. It was good, man. Enjoyable. So you know what my thing is? I like to rate things based on how I enjoy them. You understand? I know a lot of people, they rate things based on how others rate them. Do you understand? They'll look at Rotten Tomatoes and see the low rating and think, <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> they see the low rating on Rotten Tomatoes and just think, yeah, film's dead. Wipe it off. Nah, you know, just watch it for yourself, you know? Watch it for yourself. You'd be amazed how much you enjoy things if you just look at it for yourself. And that's what I've done. That's what I've done for Fantastic Four. That's what I've done for Green Lantern. Even the Fantastic Four second film, which I thought was better personally, with Silver Surfer, got bad ratings, got bad ratings, but I watched it for myself again. And yeah, man, it was nice. The only critique I'd give for it, it was pretty short and they ended it pretty quickly. If they gave it time to stretch out the film a little bit, it would have been a bit nicer, but seeing Silver Surfer on screen was good. He's a cold character. I think he's a really cold character. His introduction was wicked as well. He brought him in and he just started tearing them man apart. It was just too powerful. The only downside would be the ending, but the overall film before that was, it was a good film, man. You understand? Yeah, I know when, when critiques get into these films and they critique these films properly, I know they're looking at the actor. You get me? How many teardrops were coming out of her eyes when she was crying in this scene? You get me? I'm not looking at that. You're not looking at that. None of us are looking at that. You're looking at the film. How much did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Enjoy me, joy. Oh, glory. Sorry, sorry. That's my other personality on my other channel. Go check that one out. <laughs> Go check that one out. Overall, films that they say are bad in public might not actually be bad. Just give them a go, man. Don't be deterred by the figure on Rotten Tomatoes 
or even the audience hall go see it for yourself and you might actually enjoy something and that can bro that can be your own thing most people don't enjoy it but you do that's yours do you understand green lantern that's mine <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right that's enough yeah